Okay, maybe you might like it if you have bad taste. Okay, so I recently got a male weed plant, and if you don't know, uh, the females are the ones with the buds. Males are just the leaves. So I just have the leaves, which is really just what I want anyway. And I gave the plant a big haircut and dried a bunch of the leaves in a big children's encyclopedia and just squished the leaves in between two paper towels for a couple days and and they're dry. So I already had two ashtray molds and I ordered two others on Amazon and a rolling tray mold. And I just want to bust out a bunch of different molds. I didn't have a lot of resin at the moment. I was waiting for more. So I just was testing out my new tray mold. So with my first tray, and I didn't show me mixing my resin this time. So if you want the process of how to mix resin, you can watch any of my other videos. And I show that. And so I put down a clear coat of resin. Sorry, you can also see the reflection of my light in the mold. I pour a thin layer of resin down and then I go over it with a lighter to pop any of the bubbles that are there. And then I'm also going around the corners with a popsicle stick, not only to make sure that the resin is getting everywhere, but also to help pop the bubbles that might occur in the corners. So then I put, picked out three of my bigger leaves that are too big to fit in the ashtray molds and I put them face down and I'm just kind of testing out random placements for now. So I just put them face down in the mold and press them lightly in. So after I put the leaves in, I go over it again with a lighter in case I've created any bubbles while pushing the leaves into the resin. And then I added silver flake into the rest of my resin and poured that over my leaves. And I think I should have just done the silver flake from the beginning, but I forgot like I always do, but this is fine. So after I pour my silver flake resin down, then I add my medium white which is a slightly transparent white and I just put a bunch of random drops around and then I take a popsicle stick and I just mix it around a little to make little white streaks through and my resin is peating up a lot and it's already starting to harden so I do feel it being very thick when I'm going through it with a popsicle stick so I just wasn't working fast enough but I mean it still worked out this fine. I added more white and then went over it again with the heat gun which I didn't show and I've been waiting around 10 minutes after I am finished with everything and I've and I stopped filming to go over it with a lighter again because sometimes more bubbles can come up while you just wait around so I go over it again 10 minutes after I'm done and that's been helping so I'm not coming back and there is a big air bubble on the bottom of whatever I'm working on. So I'm only filling the mold halfway or as much as I need to for the leaves to stay in. The reason I don't fill it all the way the first day is because the leaves can float and I want a completely smooth bottom. So I do make it a two-day process. So I come back the second day and this time time I tried pouring some resin to the side and adding white alcohol ink to that and then randomly pouring that in and, and pouring my silver flake resin over it. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. It just kind of made it like foggy looking, which I guess is okay. But I, I kind of like it when you see the swirls of white more and this was very just like cloudy. Also for the second layer, which I learned on this one was don't do silver foil flakes maybe on the second layer because I can feel the silver flakes coming out of the bottom. So 
Anyway, I pour my clear resin down. I added some more white in, tried mixing it around with my popsicle stick, went over it with my lighter to pop all the bubbles. And then I came back 24 hours later. There's a scratch on the bottom. So I made a couple mistakes with this one. I over filled it on the edges a little bit and I would try to smooth it off if you can right after you're done filling it because when I was breaking off some of the pieces they broke off unevenly and I can't even really fix it with I guess I could try to fix it by sanding but it's it's pretty fucked up I don't think it would annoy a lot of people but it is messed up there's foil flakes sticking up out of the back and then there's little holes where you can tell bubbles were on the side which isn't too bad but I don't love it and then also <laughs> the resin I was using is it is uh has a little bit of like a, a, a brown yellow to a warm tint to it which not crazy about so gonna try a different resin so some things to fix but not the worst I've done so I come back the next day and I got more resin and I decided to spray the molds with either acetone or isopropyl alcohol. I'm not actually sure. One of those. <laughs> and so this time I tried ripping the drops of alcohol ink straight into my mold and then pouring my silver flake resin directly over the alcohol inks that I've dropped. Now that was okay. I dripped some more white alcohol ink in and then went over every layer with my lighter and then put my marijuana leaves in face down and again I'm only filling them about halfway so I can come back the next day to fill it the rest of the way and create more smoke dimensions too and then I just placed a couple extra silver flakes so I did my same thing for my rolling tray mold and I tried ripped white alcohol drop inks down first and then I poured my silver flake resin over the alcohol ink and I didn't make sure that I covered all my alcohol ink drops with resin the first time and that was a mistake because going over it with the lighter makes it kind of dry and fizzle up and then it doesn't spread as easily once you pour the resin after so then I add more drops of white and mix it around I think I maybe should have added the leaves before I added that extra white down so it's not so hazy. It's not so hazy on top of the leaves but oh well. So this time I actually am using leaves that remind me of like army colors. Uh, they're maybe a little brown but I think they could be someone's aesthetic. I didn't want to just waste the leaves. So I pressed my leaves face down into the mold. Went over it again with my lighter and waited 24 hours. So I came back the next day and I did the same thing. I put the white alcohol drop inks down first and then I poured the resin on top of that in small layers and went over it with a lighter. Then I added some more white alcohol ink drops. So I put the white alcohol drop inks down and then I used a popsicle stick to swirl the white around. And I think the swirling technique works better than putting the white alcohol ink drops down first and pouring the resin over that. And then for my rolling tray, I do a similar concept, small layers of resin, drip white in, and then mix it around with my popsicle stick and then go over it with my lighter and heat gun. So I come back the next day to pop them out of their molds and they turned out <laughs> as a piece falls off. So my rolling tray looks pretty good. I definitely did better on filling it. There's only one random silver flake that's kind of sticking out. I'm happy with it. Now with the ashtrays, now I don't even know which ones I fixed. There were some holes on the top of the tray. So I had to come back 
back and just do a little thin layer on the top of this just to cover the holes. Only one of them didn't have a hole. I think it was this one. So I just put a little resin on there and spread it out and went over it with a lighter and that did the job nicely. So now I wanted to switch up my game plan and try still doing the white smoky but doing a black background. So I figured let's try to do black along the outside first, clear in the middle to lay the leaf down, and then the second layer will do all black. So I mixed my resin and I added black alcohol ink to it and I poured it around the edges and then I just dripped some white alcohol ink along the perimeter and used a popsicle stick to randomly spread the white throughout the sides. Then I tried cleaning up some of the black that got to the center just because I didn't want the black to block the leaves that I'm going to put down. I want it to be clear in the center. So spreading it to the side and then eventually I just got a little cotton pad with acetone on it to get off the resin on the center of the mold. So then I went around the perimeter of my ashtray molds and this mold that I got from Amazon, when I took it out of the mold, part of the mold stuck to the resin and just took off chunks of it and I didn't touch it with anything sharp or make gashes in it. So anyway, there's some chunks of silicone stuck in it. So I returned that and ordered another one. So that's why I'm not using this mold for the black one. Anyway, so I fill up the sides of all the ashtray molds with my black silver flake resin and try to keep the center clear for when I put my marijuana leaves face down. So I had, I did have some clear resin that I left to the side, but it had overheated and then like congealed. So I had to mix more and I add silver flakes to that resin and I just pour a thin layer down, go over it with a lighter. Oh, sorry for the reflection on my legs again. So I put the white alcohol ink drips randomly in the rolling tray and mix that around with my popsicle stick. Then I start placing my leaves face down into the resin. So I press the leaves in with my fingers and then I do the same thing with the ashtray molds. So I pour a thin layer down of the clear resin with the silver flakes, go over it with my lighter, and then put my marrow I want to leave in face down to the mold and then every layer I add resin I go over again with my lighter. Oh and I'm dripping white alcohol ink in and mixing it in with the clear resin to create the smoke and then I'm going to come back tomorrow and do the black layer. So I come back 24 hours later and I put I mix a uh, black alcohol ink with my resin and it's not it's still transparent it's not completely opaque and I'm not adding silver flakes in this layer because I don't don't want any to be popping up on the bottom of my mold. So it's just black alcohol ink. And again, I pour it in thin layers over my molds and go over everything with a heat gun to try to pop as many bubbles as I can. And then I wait again 24 hours. So taking it out of the mold was very exciting. I think they turned out pretty well. I think I want to try to go maybe more opaque with the black. Maybe a little too much smokiness on top of the leaves, but I think they turned out pretty good overall. And I didn't have the problem with these ones as I did with my just clear and white ones, which was having air bubbles on the top. I didn't have any air bubbles, luckily, on the top of this one as I see an air bubble, but it's not to a leaf, so I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. I think they turned out really well. I like them a lot and I also want to try doing this with black mica too. But I think it turned out really well. And then I decided I want to do a rainbow collection. <laughs> so I have a bunch of different ideas for how I want to do rainbows, but I started with just putting random dots of ink down. So then when I pour the resin over, it will naturally kind of do its own thing. And I am doing it in rainbow formation. So hopefully we won't get any browns. So I 
go with each color and drop it around in a circle on the outside on the rim of the mold. And I added silver flake to my resin and I maybe didn't put my colors down super easily. My bad, but my first try. So I mix it where it needs to with a popsicle stick and add some more resin, add some white drops, mix that in. I still want the smoke and then place my leaves. And then I did the same thing with my, I forgot, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I did the same <laughs> thing with my rolling tray. I did put more ink though on the corners and that more ink went a long ass way, maybe too much way. And then I tried adding more white. It might be too colorful. I'm not sure. Yeah. The rolling tray is very colorful. We'll see how it goes. And then the second day I didn't film, but I just did my regular clear resin and drops of white alcohol ink mixed in for the second layer. And so I haven't taken them out, so I don't know how much of a disaster these might be. It's a lot of fucking colors. See, like, so much pink and purple, and then, like, all the red through blue are just, like, tight over here. Pink, purple, red through blue. Oh, it looks like it's slightly more even on the outside. Let's see how it goes. How do you get things out of places? I got one corner. Woo woo. Oh, God. This is, like, breaking. Why is it? Why are you like that? Okay, maybe someone will like it. But I don't, but maybe someone will. It's a little messy in the middle. That white looks really like just not great. You can see the colors more on the outside. Yeah, I definitely spread them out horribly. So much pink and purple. So little rainbow. I feel like someone might like it. People like a lot of things that I don't like, so hopefully. <laughs> This is why I shouldn't be a salesperson. Everything that I would sell to someone is like, I mean, it's okay. You might like it if you have bad taste. I like saving the best for last, but I have no fucking idea. God, why are these so hard to open? This is what happens when you clip your nails off. You can't open things. Oh, got a corner, got a corner. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I think this is cute. Wish there was a little more green, but it kind of reminds me of the apple waiting symbol, like the color wheel. Maybe that's someone's aesthetic. Apple color wheel. Yeah, it's okay. Again, I think someone could like it. Ugh. Why did I clip off my nails? Worst decision. Or I would just break my nails doing this. Oh, why is this so hard? My hands are so sweaty. Maybe these molds just fucking suck and that's why they fucking got cuts in them. Ah, I've never had this fucking issue. Ugh, why is this so fucking hard? Sorry, help me. I'm moving on. I'm trying this one? Yep. I stuck the mold. That's what I'm like. That's never happened to me. I guess I can use, I can try to use a heat gun or like a hairdryer. Here, try this one. Oh my God. It's like used. Why was it fine for the rest of my stuff that I've made? Oh yeah, 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 bitch. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is fucked. Why are these so stuck? Is it okay if I break them to get them open? Since they're so bad? Because it already tore a little bit. If it already tore, yeah. I'll Bye. just return the this mold again. Ow, I'm sweating so much. My hands are so sweaty. Don't break on me, stupid fucking mold. Yeah, the mold's like stuck. These molds, okay. I'm leaving a bad review on this Amazon. Yeah, it's like in it. Ah. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Okay, well, these fucking suck. This one should come off. This is a good mold. I'm so hot. Oh. Why are you choking? It's not the right thing when you're sweating. I'm like, did I sweat off my nose ring? Oh, oh, yeah, got one corner, got one corner. Yes, 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 bitch, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I knew this mold is from a different company, so it actually comes off. Ow, God, my fucking fingers. Ow. Oh my God, I'm definitely smoking weed after this bullshit. Ah! No! Part of the mold game off. I think it's on the very bottom though, so like it sh it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine, right, guys? It's just this little bit. 
Ah, lol, why would you betray me like that? Okay, so I have this one. Ah, oh, this has a big hole. So now I need to do a small layer on this one. That's fucking annoying. It doesn't even look that great. I'm just so irritated for the amount of work it took. I can't even get this fucker off. So upsetting. I'm really irritated. I wanted to end the fucking video on a good note and now I'm just fucking annoyed. Who knows what this one looks like? It's probably the best one, but we'll never know. Okay, doing my doing my other rainbow ideas. I guess I need to look for new ashtray molds too. Well, there will be a part two. I'm planning on doing more rainbow. I'm gonna redeem myself from this stupid fucking shit. I'm gonna redeem myself. I'm gonna make good fucking rainbow stuff that doesn't destroy a fucking mold. And if it does, I will throw a fucking fit. Why? It literally is inside the mold. How does this have four stars on Amazon? This is fucking lies. Liza Minnelli's. Liza Minnelli's better than this bullshit. Okay. Well, kids, that was fucking annoying. I'm really sweaty and irritated now, but have a good one. Thanks for watching.